Things have really changed when it comes to radio styles and broadcasting styles since War of the Worlds. What has changed with the radio voice in the last 70 or so years is it was predominantly male to start out. So the fact that I'm in radio is something that has evolved over time. It didn't have to just be this booming, deep voice that exuded authority. The, the stilted of the delivery when you when it comes to the way broadcasters were and many some still are in the early years of the 20th century this world was being watched closely by intelligences greater than man ladies and gentlemen i have just been informed that we have finally established communication with an eyewitness of the tragedy. 13 year old Kaylee Bateman is a clear and confident speller. She's the reigning state champion after all. But Over the years things have changed where people have really developed a more natural style and it's more important to sound like you're communicating with your audience instead of announcing at your audience. And you are listening to KZSC Santa Cruz. Welcome back to the Seduction Hour with Dan Davis. As per usual, I'm your host. Dan Davis. Occasionally that changes. Tonight, however, no, you are stuck with me. And so you are hearing more youthful sounds now, but I think we take it as credibility because, you know, when you're listening to your friend, you believe your friend, they're your friend. And if you think about your friends, they're mostly, a lot of times, your age. And they come from your background. They're male, they're female. They come from different neighborhoods. They're more, um, you know, we have more diverse voices now. Of mobile phones and mobile banking have rapidly expanded throughout Kenya from urban slums to rural areas. Some elements of the $1.1 trillion spending bill could be delayed in the Senate because of funding for President Obama's recent executive action on immigration. And that's more like the people that we run into in the coffee shop or on the bus, people that we still trust, but they maybe have more of a similar life experience than us. I'm Jenna Dooley. I'm Susan Stevens, WNIJ News.